schemes would have an effect on how the ball is found. So the first control scheme we have is number one. Um, it's just manual control. So you tilt left and right to try to balance the ball yourself. And while we found that it's pretty easy to get the ball close to the center, it's hard to balance it manually in the center because it's hard to get that precise control yourself. But it still it works fairly well. Our next method of control, we try proportional only control. So we're just multiplying the error of our distance um, by its offset from the middle, and we tilt one way or the other, more or less. Um, this method, though, is unstable because it doesn't account for the velocity of the ball. And no matter if we turn the gain up or down, low gain and high gain, it doesn't really matter. And this is mostly due to the fact that our servo doesn't have a quick enough response time to be able to um, detect position even at high gain and respond to it quickly enough. Mm -hmm. Has everybody had control theory? Uh, yeah. Some? Okay. So basically our goal is, yeah, to measure the error and try to use that error to um, calculate a method for getting the ball balanced in the center. So our third method of control um, is proportional derivative control. So it uses both principles of um, what we're using here, which is just proportional control, but it adds a derivative term, so it's measuring speed now, and it's taking that into account. And at low gain, which I have it set at right now, it acts much like proportional control, because the derivative term doesn't really have any effect on it. But when we turn the gain all the way up, we see that the ball starts getting balanced in the middle because it's responding to that speed difference. The only problem we found, um, major problem we found, is that it's unstable in the middle um, for proportional derivatives because it's still trying to measure small um, changes in velocity. So while it will still balance fairly well, it'll still have these minor disturbances. So we implemented a fourth method of control, which uses both. Um, when the ball is on the end um, and moving really fast, it will be proportional derivative. But when it's in the middle and moving relatively slow, it switches back to just proportional control. Mm. Um, this one doesn't really have, we preset the gains for state four, so they're just set to try to balance the ball um, um, as quickly as possible. Still, the response is not perfect, mainly due to our sampling um, limitations and the speed limitations of the servo. Um, what is your sampling rate? Um, our sampling rate is actually different for this guy. This guy is sampling, um, the servo is being updated once every eighth of a second on the SPI, or, um, RTI. 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 Yeah. Okay. Um, and I believe this is at a fastest rate it can go. It's sampling very quickly, and it's just picking one of those samples to send to the, um, mm -hmm. um, So your, your, your outer loop time is, is 125 milliseconds.